<laughs> the Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you partially transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of Velveeta, the famous pasteurized processed cheese food that tastes so good and is so good for you. Yes, Velveeta is another of the Kraft family of fine foods. Foods you can depend on for delicious eating, for wholesome, healthy eating. So remember, to get the cheese food of quality, get Velveeta, the cheese food that's made by Kraft. The great Gildersleeve is a creature of habit, and he's made a habit of being comfortable. He's just finished a fine dinner, started on a large cigar, and is about to move from the dining room table to the parlor couch. Ah, wonderful dinner, Bertie. Thank you, sir. Are you sure you don't want any more dessert? Well, let's put it this way. I'll resist it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, too bad Leroy had to miss this. He wanted to eat over at Piggy's tonight. They got some kind of a project cooking. Yeah, it was pretty quiet around here without the boy. I think I'll take full advantage of it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll take the paper and settle down for the evening. Yes, sir. Do you still have that little alarm clock in the kitchen, Bertie? Yes, sir. You might set it for 10 o'clock. If I fall asleep on the couch, I want to know when to get up and go to bed. <laughs> yes, sir. Right, George, this is great. Nothing like a fellow spending a quiet evening alone with his thoughts. And tonight I'll keep it very quiet. I won't even think. <laughs> yeah, I've always loved this couch. Now, let's see what's in the paper. Hmm. Vacation ads already. Here's a girl beckoning me to Hawaii. Hmm, judging from her costume, it must be pretty warm over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I doze off, I might dream of Hawaii and save the fair. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, of peace and quiet. Oh, my goodness. Bernie, open up. Why is he ringing the doorbell? I'm not even Miss Gilkey. You just rest. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hi, Bernie. Come on in, gang. Gang? I've never been in your house before, Leroy. I have, huh, Leroy? Sure. Bertie, you know Piggy, and this is Stretch. Stretch, this is Bertie. Hello, Bertie. Hello, Stretch. You way up there, ain't you? I am when I stand up. <laughs> What's going on out there? Leroy! Oh, hi, Unc. Unc, you know Piggy. Hello, Piggy. Hi. Unc, this is Stretch. Stretch is my uncle. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, hello, Stretch. We're going to have a meeting in the living room, Unc. A meeting? Yeah, a meeting. Now, we're organizing a club. Yeah, a big deal. Yeah, a big deal. It, it's fine, but Leroy, I thought you were getting together at Piggy's this evening. They said we were too noisy. Yeah, too noisy. So we came over here. Yeah, we came over here. <laughs> I know. Mr. Gildersleeve, some people are peculiar. They can't stand noise. You yeah, will. Okay, I'll call the meeting to order. Hey, I was calling the meeting to order over at my house. Well, now we're at my house. Yeah, there goes my quiet evening. Before we start, I have a question. I want to conduct the meeting. Stretch has a floor, Piggy. Thank you. That's okay. Go ahead. I'd like to know why we're organizing a club when we don't even have a place to meet. Well, we'll meet at each other's houses. Can't meet at my house. We're too noisy. Uh, Leroy? Yeah? Would you like to take your meeting into the den? Okay, let's go in Uncle's den. Good. Say, now, this is a swell room. Yeah, glad I moved them in there. But why don't we make this our clubhouse? Oop. Are we taking new members? You think it'll hold everybody? Zeke, there are more coming? No more questions till we elect officers. The meeting will come to order. I have a nomination for president. Who? Me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can't nominate yourself, Piggy. Says who? We can vote for ourselves, can't we? 
Yeah, but we ought to vote for an older head. And I've got the oldest. You just got the biggest. <laughs> we just want to be president. Yeah, you just want to be president. All right, so Miss Gilsey, here's well, a magazine that came today. No, thanks, Bertie. I can't hear myself read. Okay, if we can't decide on a president, let's start at the bottom and elect a treasurer. I don't want to be treasurer. I lose money. Well, you can be treasurer. We don't have any money. Well, I don't want to They sure are noisy. Yeah, I'll say. Quiet! I've got an idea! So have I. Where are you going, Miss Kilsey? I'm going to find a nice, quiet boiler factory. Yeah, I wonder if I made that much noise when I was a boy. Oh, well. I think I'll drop in and see Peavy. Hello, Peavy. Yeah, hello, Mr. Jonas, man. <laughs> What can I do for you this evening? You can do me a favor. Don't say a word for five minutes. How's that? I'd like to have it perfectly quiet for a while. Leroy brought a bunch of boys over to the house, and they've been shouting like wild Indians. How do you stand it when they roar in here after school, Peavy? Peavy, you're not answering my question. You said not to say a word for five minutes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did you ever get to the point where you couldn't stand noise? You had to get up and walk out of the house? Yes, every time Mrs. Peavy's mother comes to town. <laughs> oh? She likes to have the radio turned up so she can hear it while she's running the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> well, Leroy and his crew are trying to organize a club. Hmm, a club for boys is a good idea. Yeah, they were squabbling about who was going to be president and who wasn't going to be treasurer. <laughs> you don't say. Sounds like the Jolly Boys. Yeah, the only thing they could agree on was to meet at my house. Well, they should have a place to meet. Yeah. I know we jolly boys would be lost without our room over the barbershop. Say, why couldn't we let the boys use our hall once in a while? Well, why not? The jolly boys might even sponsor the club. Oh, there's the judge. Well, gentlemen. Yeah, I guess we better consult the old goat about this. Hello, Judge. Greetings and salutations. Uh, Horace, Peavy and I have been talking about a boys' club. What do you think of the idea? I'll soon be out of my teens, but I'll join. <laughs> out of his teens? He's in his second childhood. Now, Gilda. Judge, it seems that Leroy and his pals are organizing a club and they don't have a meeting place. We thought they might use our Jolly Boys Club. Splendid. We only use it Friday nights. <laughs> you don't start singing better, Judge. We better not meet at all. <laughs> well, can I help it if my voice is still changing? Well, that's three of us in favor of it Tomorrow night at the meeting, we'll feel out the chief and Floyd Of course, the boys may not want our club room What? They may prefer to meet at Mr. Gildersleeve's house Oh, don't worry, I'll talk them out of that Well, why don't we have them stop in a few minutes before our meeting to get their reactions? Great! Right, George, I'm glad I thought of this boys' club idea <laughs> well, As I recall, I suggested that they have a place to meet well, I thought of offering them the use of our club. You wouldn't have had your thought without my thought. Peavy, I brought the whole idea in here. When you came in here, you didn't have an idea in your head. <laughs> if you ask me, I don't think either one of you have anything to crow about. Who was this, Judge? By strange coincidence, I was thinking about a boys' club just yesterday. That's just one day before you thought of it. Uh, I knew you'd butt in, you old goat. Yeah, yeah old goat. <laughs> Right, George, there's nothing like the Jolly Boys Club. Looks like we're all here, Commissioner. Quiet, Chief. I'm going to call the roll. Why call the roll, Judge? Floyd, I'm secretary, that's why. We only got five members, and if you put on your glasses, you can see we're all here. Yeah. I'm here. Peavy, wait until you're called. Well, start calling. Gilda? What? I'm calling the roll. Oh, here. Floyd? What do you think? <laughs> Peavy? Ah, fiddlesticks. Here. Chief Gates? Here. That's strange. That's only four members. You forgot to count yourself, Judge. Ho, ho, ho. So I did. Well, I'm here. What a secretary. Hey, fellas, are we going to have our meeting before or after the kids come up? Well, I've invited them up beforehand, Floyd, just to see if they're interested in the place. And then we'll have our meeting. Oh. These days, boys need a place for recreation. I... 
Think you had a fine idea, Commissioner. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Why? It's my idea, too. Well, I thought of it first, day before yesterday. Yes, yes. Oh, what difference does it make? As long as we're doing something for the kids. I'm for kids. Well, while we're waiting for the lads, shall we sing a song? We better not. We might scare them away. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know. be da hum bum be dum bow Show off. You... <laughs> we have to sing without music. Oh? Since the judge spilled a Coke on the piano, the keys are stuck. <laughs> well, shall we, uh, shall we sing a cappella, fellows? No, if we're going to sing, let's sing something we know. <laughs> I have my pitch pipe. What'll it be? There is a tavern in the town. No, Phoebe. Well, you sing what you want to sing, and I'll sing what I want. <laughs> let's try by the light of the silvery moon. I'll try anything once. Here we go. By the light, by the light, on the silvery moon, I want to swoon to my honey I'll croon love tune. Take it, come in. Honeymoon. 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 Keep a shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. By the silvery moon. By the silvery That's not too bad. What do you say, Peavy? Ah, Capella. <laughs> <laughs> say, here come the boys. Aren't you follow me, gang? Well, Leroy. Hi, I'm Paul, Mr. Munson. Hi, Hi kids. Boys. Hi, Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Well, fellows, look around. Uh, sure. Hey, gang, look, a dart game. Yes, sir, I like this. You're good. That's what we wanted to find out. Come on, Leroy, I'll play again. Okay, let's I'll go. I'll play the winner. Right. Yeah, it looks like they're going to stick around, Commish. Yeah, they like it. Well, what about our meeting? Well, I'd better shoot them out, and then we can set up a time for them to use the club. Beat that if you can't beat it, Peggy. I'll beat it. Uh, boys, now that you've seen the place... Yes, sir, it's all right. I beat you, Peggy. I'm closer than you are. You are not. Hey, Judge, you decide who's closest. Well, I've never decided a case like this. Yes, just a minute, Judge. Uh, boys, we were about to have our meeting. You see... Say, this is a neat gavel. Yes, sir. Well, let me have it. You elected me president. Uh, boys, we have some business to take up. I thought we was having a meeting. Well, I think we've had it. <laughs> oh, everybody! All the charter members are here. We'll decide who else we're going to let in after the minutes of the last meeting have been read. Yeah, but Leroy... Shh. Read the minutes, Fred. Sure. At our last meeting, we met for ten minutes. Thank you, Stretch. The minutes will stand as well. <laughs> well, I guess their meeting's over. Now we'll take up new business. Uh-oh. Uh, boys. I got some new business. Shoot, Piggy. Let's play darts again. Okay, it's my turn. Oh, my goodness. If we're going to have a meeting, I guess we'll have to go to the pump house. How about it, Mom? Having lunchbox problems? I mean, trouble planning tempting, hearty lunches for the youngsters to carry to school? Well, I have a suggestion. Next time you're food shopping, look for the yellow box with the name Velveeta on it and take it home. Velveeta is Kraft's famous pasteurized processed cheese food and really perfect for lunchbox sandwiches. When you slice or spread golden Velveeta for sandwiches, you can be sure they're good for the youngsters because Velveeta is rich in important food values from milk. It helps supply high-quality, complete protein for strong muscles. Minerals that help build sound teeth and bones. Vitamins needed for normal growth. Why, two ounces of Velveeta, the amount you ordinarily use for a sandwich, actually gives you more protein, more calcium, phosphorus, riboflavin, and vitamin A than an eight-ounce glass of milk. And, of course, Velveeta is digestible, too. As digestible as milk itself. What's more, Velveeta has a wonderful flavor, a rich yet mild cheddar cheese flavor youngsters especially like. So, for good-to-eat, wholesome lunchbox sandwiches the youngsters and you, too, approve of, get Velveeta. 
Get it in the two-pound loaf so you'll have plenty for after-school snacks and hot main dishes, too. Just be sure you get genuine Velveeta. It's the quality cheese food made only by Kraft. Well, let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. When he learned that Leroy and his club needed a place to meet, he invited them up to the Jolly Boys' room. They came to look it over and then took it over. Didn't you Jolly Boys get to hold your meeting, Mr. Gildersleeve? We held it, Bertie, under a streetlight. Yes, sir. The wonder you didn't get arrested for loitering. Well, the chief of police was in the meeting. Yes, sir. Of course, if you'd been locked up, you had the judge to get you out. What a club. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Alberti, the Jolly Boys do a lot of good. <laughs> oh, I was just fooling, Mr. Gilsey. You're doing a fine thing giving Leroy and his pals a place to meet. You bet. But where are you Jolly Boys going to meet every week? Under the streetlight? Bertie, that won't happen again. Our meeting night has always been Friday night. They'll just have to pick another time. You know how boys are. They'll be up there all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> you Jolly Boys won't get a look in. Be sure you get the club this afternoon, Piggy. Okay. Well, hello, my boy. Hi, I'm Hello, Bertie. Hello, Leroy. Uncle, you know what we're going to do at our club? You mean at the Jolly Boys Club? Yeah. Yeah, we're going up there every afternoon to do our homework. Play darts, read comics. Oh? Take a gym mat up there and do handstands, wrestle. This is homework? Uh, we're going to study, too. we got something going on up there nearly every night. Well, if you have any plans for Friday night... I'll say we do. That's a big night. We're taking in new members. It, but, Leroy... The joint will be jumping. So long, i got to meet Stretch. Uh-oh. Bertie knows where the Jolly Boys are going to meet. They're going to be sitting on the curb meeting under the street light. No, Bertie. Yes, sir. The Jolly Boys are going to be calling and meeting the order under the street light. Yeah, all right. Miss Gilsey, you know where the Jolly Boys are going to meet? Yeah, I'm afraid That's so, right. Bertie. The Jolly Boys are going to meet under the street light. <laughs> Well, there's Chief Gates getting a shave at Floyd's. Yeah, I almost forgot this is Jolly Boys meeting night, and Leroy's crew wants to use the club. Yeah, you better go in and talk this over. Hi, Commissioner. Hello, fellas. Well, as I live and breathe, it's Commissioner Gildersleeve. Chief, if you don't stop moving your head, you won't be breathing. <laughs> Sorry, Floyd. You're next, Commissioner. Oh, I don't need a thing. I just dropped in to see if we Jolly Boys can figure out another night to meet. What's the matter with tonight? Well, Friday's fine, but... It seems the kids have something going on that night. What other night could we meet? Well, how about you, Chief? Well, I can jail Tuesdays and Thursdays. How about Saturday? No, sir. Saturday night is my date night. Wednesday? Yeah, that's a date night, too. <laughs> Two nights a week, Commissioner? <laughs> well, he ain't going to be a good catch much longer. You can't afford to overlook any bets, huh, Commissioner? <laughs> <laughs> no, Floyd. Wednesdays and Saturdays are out. We ain't going to interfere with the commissioners of Moors de la Femme. <laughs> Thank you, Floyd. Well, how about Monday night? That's the night the judge spends in the steam cabinet. So that's why his face is always so red on Tuesdays. <laughs> well, looks like Friday night's the only night. Well, we'll just have to tell the kids to pick another time. Yeah, I guess so. They're using the club practically 24 hours a day now. Yeah, it won't hurt them to give up Friday night. Hey. There they are now, going upstairs. Call them in, Commissioner. Yeah, good idea. Let's have an understanding. Yeah. Leroy, stretch. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, will you boys step in the barber shop a minute? Sure. Hiya, fellas. Hello, boys. Hi. Hi. Hey, boys, uh, we want to have a little talk with you. Yes, sir. I've been wanting to talk to you too, gentlemen. I'm kind of glad of this opportunity. Yeah? I don't want to sound mushy. But I want you gentlemen to know that what you're doing is appreciated. Well... I was telling my folks about how you've gotten behind our boys' club. My father says to me, Homer, he says, I've changed my mind about that water commissioner. He's not a bad guy. Oh? And he said he's going to start bringing his haircut business to you, Mr. Munson. Yeah, thanks, kid. And my mother says the chief of police must have a big heart beating behind his badge. Oh. <laughs> right, Leroy? Yeah. Well, we'd better get upstairs and get the hall ready for tonight's meeting. Uh, wait a minute, Leroy. Uh, what did you gentlemen call us in for? You well... Go ahead, Commish. Well, Floyd, it's your establishment. You go ahead. I got nothing to say. Do you, Chief? Oh, I... 
I have nothing to say to the boys except... Bless you. <laughs> That's the situation, Judge. Well, that's all well and good, Gildy, but where are we going to meet tonight? Well... Any ideas, Peavy? I can't meet here in the drugstore. You jolly boys eat up all my profit. <laughs> if you ask me, the water commissioner is obligated to come up with an answer. Yeah, this whole thing was his idea. My idea? That's what you said. Judge, you even claimed it was your idea. Oh, but you insisted it wasn't, so it isn't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When an idea backfires, nobody wants to claim it. Well, I, for one, will never interfere with a boys' club meeting. Well, I'm not going to walk the streets, and I'm not going home to Mrs. Peavy. She's having a bridge party. Well, thanks to you, Gildy, the jolly boys have come to the parting of the ways. We have no home. Horace, stop crying. We'll meet at my house. I don't want to go to your house. <laughs> Peavy, don't be difficult. I'll invite you all to dinner. Yeah, I'll phone Bertie and have her prepare a spread. Fried chicken, potato salad, brown betty. I just soon go to your house. <laughs> Great. I'll call home right now. There's nothing like Bertie's fried chicken. I'll even pick up everybody in my car tonight. Miss Gilsley's residence. Bertie, it's me. Oh, it's you, Mr. Gilsley? I thought you were somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bertie, I'm inviting the club to have dinner at our house tonight. That's nice. Uh, do you suppose you can prepare enough fried chicken and potato salad? Miss Gilsley, consider it done. Yeah, thank you, Bertie. Goodbye. So long. Yes, yeah, all set, fellows. Bertie will fix the dinner. Sounds like a perfect evening. Yeah, I better call Mrs. Peavy and tell her I have a date with a chicken. <laughs> Miss, your car's a little crowded when everybody gets in. Yeah. We've all spread out a little through the years, Floyd. Not me. I'm still a perfect 36. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just feels a little uncomfortable because we had to sit so long waiting for the judge. Yeah, what kept it, Judge? Well, I had to vacuum my rug, put out the cat, and feed the canary. Oh, speaking of canaries, how about us jolly boys singing a song? Well, what'll it be this time? <laughs> Please. Oh, fellas, how about something with a good bass? How about when good fellas get together? I'll set the pitch. Me, 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 me. Oh, my goodness. Hey, let's take it off the horn. All together? For it's always fair weather When good fellas get together With a hand clasp of friendship Watch it, lady. And a good song ring, ring, ring. Careful, Chief, you'll blast the windows out of the car. <laughs> well, Gildy, I see Bertie has all the lights on. Yeah, she's expecting us. I just can't wait to dive into that fried chicken. Oh, I think we should. I've never tasted better sweetheart. potato salad than Bertie's. Well, I think I'll say. I think we should give Commissioner Gildersleeve a vote of thanks. Yes, man, yes. You're an all right gent, Commissioner. Well, I felt a little responsible when the boys took over our club, and I'm glad to do it. <laughs> Come on in, fellows. Hi, Uncle. Hey, Piggy, the jolly boys are here. Yeah. Hi, man. What's going on, Commissioner? Yeah, that's what I wonder. Leroy, I thought you and your gang would be up at our club. Well, Uncle, we talked it over and decided you jolly boys should have your club on Friday nights, all to yourselves. Well, what a considerate bunch of boys. Yes, indeed. Mr. Gillis, please. Hello, Bertie. I wasn't expecting you home. We came here for our meeting, indeed. Yeah, where's the chicken? It's gone. How's that? Mr. Gillis, you just phoned and said the club was meeting here. You didn't say what club. Over. The boys have met and ate. <laughs> yeah, we thought the food was for us. Gildy, you bungler. What do we do now, Mr. Gildersleeve? This was your idea. Well, let's kick the big fat idea man out of the club. Fellows, you can't kick out the president. Yeah, no, I wouldn't kick that. <laughs> Oh, 
The Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Looking for a good food buy? Then get Velveeta, Kraft's famous pasteurized processed cheese food. Delicious, nourishing Velveeta is one of the best food buys you can make because you can enjoy it so many ways, in snacks, in sandwiches, and for a variety of economical hot main dishes. Melt Velveeta for a smooth golden cheese sauce to extend leftovers or to put in new made dishes. Make Velveeta your handy helper for all kinds of money-saving hot meals. Remember, your best buy in cheese food is Velveeta, made only by Kraft. Bertie, I certainly am glad you came to my rescue with more fried chicken. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir. It took a little doing, but we sure gave that boys club a good start. Yeah. I want to thank you and the Jolly Boys for helping me launch a boys club for Summerfield. Yes, sir. People everywhere are waking up to the fact that these boys' clubs are important in building the citizens of tomorrow. That's nice. You bet. Statistics show throughout the United States that there's very little delinquency among the boys who have their own clubhouses. Given the proper facilities, these boys find recreation and companionship in the afternoon and the evening hours. We'd like to salute the public-spirited men and women who give unselfishly of their time and their money to make our boys' clubs possible. Good night, folks. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Robert Easton, Stuffy Singer, Earl Ross, Ken Christie, Arthur Q. Bryan, and Dick Legrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next week and every week for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. There are two kinds of delicious craft prepared mustard. Mild craft mustard so smooth and delicately spiced, and craft mustard with snappy horseradish added. And whichever you prefer, remember, when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Try it on cold sandwiches, hamburgers, frankfurters, and cold cuts. Enjoy the wonderful sauces you can make for hot meat and vegetable courses with Kraft prepared mustard. Keep both kinds on hand and keep the whole family happy. Get mild Kraft mustard and Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added at your favorite food store. Tonight, play You Bet Your Life on NBC.